Project, ALF is a 1996 American made-for-television science fiction film directed by Dick Lowry which serves as a sequel to the final. Episode Consider Me Gone of the 1986-1990 sitcom ALF. It was broadcast in the US by ABC and in Canada on CHCH-TV on February 17, 1996. The film was released on DVD in 2005. Few of the original cast members of ALF were featured. The only actors to appear in both the series and film were Paul Fusco and Beverly Archer. Project, ALF was poorly received when it aired in 1996 because of the absence of the Tanners, weak characters, and failure to give a proper conclusion to the series. The film begins where ALF had ended, with Gordon Shumway, otherwise known as ALF, short for Alien Life Form, being captured by the U.S. Air Force's Alien Task Force while attempting to depart Earth. ALF is kept under lock and key at Edmonds Air Force Base under the orders of Colonel Milfoyle. Contrary to everyone's worst fears, ALF has been doing just fine in captivity. In fact, the poker games that he has runs in his cell with his guards, where he sells concessions and generally cleans up on the table, have made his life very cushy bachelor pad. In fact, he has enough possessions to fill an aircraft hangar, acting on his own initiative. Milfoyle plans on killing his prisoner under the guise of a beauty treatment for which he has left a paper trail implicating his aide-de-camp, Lt. Reese, setting him up as a scapegoat. They talk about ALF's relationship with the Tanner family, and the Tanners move to Iceland. Learning of this, two Air Force scientists, Major Melissa Hill and Captain Rick Mulliken help ALF escape, going to ground at a cheap motel. After ALF makes a nuisance of himself, he is ordered to go hide in the restroom, reminding him of when the Tanners would do the same. Unwilling to do without his creature comforts, ALF sneaks outside and contacts one of his former guards in an attempt to arrange a supply drop. Before mistakenly entering a strip club named Kitty Cat Lounge, assuming from its name that it is an eating establishment that serves cats. With both the local police and the military alerted, the three of them turn to Dexter Moyers, a former NASA scientist falsely discredited by the government as part of the anti-UFO conspiracy. His solution is to publicly reveal ALF's existence on global television, removing the U.S. government's credibility and vindicating himself, but Rick grows increasingly uncomfortable with the idea. After accidentally stumbling across a computer file that hints at a deeper agenda, Rick departs during the night. The following day, he contacts a friend at Edmonds, aware that Milfoyle will be monitoring the conversation and come directly to him. As predicted, he is arrested shortly after and brokers a deal, exchanging safe conduct for the three fugitives in return for revealing the impending broadcast. Meanwhile, Melissa learns that Moyers has set up a secret auction alongside the broadcast, intending to sell the alien to the highest bidder. After she refuses to take part, he imprisons her. ALF, unaware of the betrayal, revels in being the center of attention until stage fright and the increasing hostility of his host lead ALF to lock himself in the bathroom, giving the military time to shut down the broadcast. Both Melissa and ALF are arrested, and Milfoyle reneges on the deal. In doing so, he unwittingly reveals his murderous intentions on a security recording, which finds its way into the hands of Lt. Reese. Back at Edmonds, Milfoyle gloats that ALF's escape means he will be able to convince his superiors to have the alien executed openly, his hatred being revealed as seeking payback for his mother going mad as the result of an alleged alien abduction. However, Reese interrupts a meeting between Milfoyle and General Stone to play the tape, revealing the colonel's malfeasance. A military panel authorizes promotions for the three officers involved in taking down Milfoyle and apologizes to ALF, before declaring him an ambassador to Earth. The scene ends with ALF's usual self-aggrandizing behavior leaving the people on the panel to wonder if they have made the right choice. Project, ALF wound up airing on ABC because NBC went back on its word that the last season of ALF would have one extra episode so the storyline could be resolved with a two-part finale. The first half aired, ending with a Melmusian spaceship hovering over ALF, while alien task force operatives were closing in from all sides. But despite the flash of to be continued, the network never allowed any more episodes and left fans furious with that decision, leaving the series on a cliffhanger for over five years. Actors William O'Leary and Jensen Daggett were already working together on ABC, playing husband and wife Marty and Nancy Taylor, brother and sister-in-law to Tim the Toolman Taylor on the top-rated sitcom Home Improvement. Project, AL Fat Wikipedia Sister Projects. Thanks for watching.